Hi friends, welcome back to the Guitar Spar, and I'm so excited right now to come back with you with a, another special guitar from the Yamaha. They just launched the new F series, uh, the the quite FG or the F series uh, guitar that that actually the that is associated with the the red label that is 1966. So just a little bit of uh, background with this uh, 1966 uh, thing is that you can look at this head stock right now. This head stock resembles the the 50th anniversary where I did the FG uh, FG 180 that I said was really exceptional and everybody should buy it. But there were only limited uh, pieces that went around, and um, they were very good guitars. They were like. Um, the same guitar as it was produced but even better so coming back 2016 it was the 50th anniversary and right now it's 2019 over three years what have developed the they have developed the new techniques to improve the tone of the guitar bracing uh, the how they treat the tops of the wood, which is actually the ARE acoustic resonance enhancers, where they use heat, humidity, and pressure to age the sick cut tops, so that the the tops will will flex at at the not when it's very new rigid, but it will soften and act as if it's an H guitar. So what it means to you is uh, the result of that is that it's a very played in tone, uh, you get a little bit more um, highs and a low mids bass that is on, on the guitar. But coming back to the F series, this red label, um, what they did right now, the improvements are, are having uh, the ARE that is on this guitar and also uh, the bracing, the slightly enhanced bracing so that it gives you that lower mids and lower end but retain the clarity of, of this guitar that I, I'm going to review on this F, FSK, F, FS5. Okay, let me just uh, let's start. The All the five series are made in Japan. So I have the FG with me just now, which I've done the review. And right now, the FS, as you can see right now, it's a red label and uh, it's inspired. You get the Sika top that has an aging toner. It's about one inch from the X brace, about one inch from the they forward it to, to the sound hole. So it opens up the X brace, allows you to free up this, this side. Um, the, the, the X brace are slightly scalloped, uh, not too much the scallop. And the two tone bars that are here, if I'm not wrong, it's just here or here, I mean here. Um, it's about one, it's about two, maybe two and a, two inches here and one and a half inch, one, one, uh, two inches and one and a half inch away from the sound hole. So what it does is it gives you that rigidity that it's stable that is here so that it won't really like uh, swollen the top when it has humidity. That's something to think about what the Japanese do because they always think long term. Uh, they don't want to compromise just having tone and compromise the integrity of the guitar which something they talk about uh, longevity, living a legacy, um, and allowing this guitar to last a lifetime just like you, um, giving you hours of pleasure. And it frees up this top, giving you a, a, a very a vintage tone. The other thing that you need to know is uh, it has the ebony bridge, ebony fretboard, even ebony pins. The ebony pins are, are only available through the five series that are made in Japan. And instead of your black plastic uh, um, Pickguard. You have a wooden pickguard. Looks like um, looks like ebony pickguard to me. Um, black streaks on this guitar, and the internally are very cleanly done. Okay, Japanese fun, uh, way of doing it. You got the black and black uh, binding, plastic binding with the white stripes, mahogany back and side. So it gives you that uh, woody kind of uh, 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 tone. And the, the guitar is semi-gloss. What do I mean by semi-gloss? Actually, this guitar is actually sprayed with a gloss finish and then lightly sanded to give you that semi-gloss, uh, not satin finish, semi-gloss finish. Very much like if you would you had a J45 True Vintage, very much like what they did. They, they sand it down, slightly buff it so that it has that uh, slightly gloss, but not that very gloss to give you that vintage feel. Um, two piece uh, neck here, one piece, two piece uh, mahogany neck, uh, three piece in fact, and you have the retain the uh, fretboard. Um, the nut width is forty four mm, is about one three quarter, forty three sorry, 
and you have the uh, pick, the trussel cover that put since 1966 and the butter beans or open gear tuners from Guitar with, with the Yamaha inscription on this guitar. They are using the 8020 bronze uh, elixir on this guitar. Something to note, all these series are 25 inches. Why 25? 25 inches, uh, when you have a shorter scale, it gives you less slack and you get a very warm a uh, uh, sounding guitar. Uh, this is this is evidently in the J45s, the Hummingbird, and even the Eric Clapton uh, Martin. So you get that vintage uh, warmness that is found. If you stretch it out a, bit, a little bit, it's slightly uh, more modern tone. So you what what you have here is a a very fundamental. How does this guitar sounds different from a LL16? The LL16 has a more modern tone. This one has a more vintage but also slightly a uh, modern tone but uh, but not that vintage like dry like a, a mountain uh, it has um, more overtones than that so I'm gonna start playing 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 a little bit of strumming but I'll do more finger picking so just to let you know but I haven't been playing for a long time so maybe a bit rusty uh, this are all right now available through Music Plaza the Yamaha uh, guitar distributor owner distributors in Singapore in fact there are about 24 pieces and I'm the first one to open up the new virgin boxes of these two pieces to review just for you for people in Singapore and for my fans around the world uh, this is just for you and even today's holiday I'm doing this work just for you because tomorrow somebody's gonna get to come collect this guitar and this guitar will go to their new owner I've set it up already the guitars have a bone bleach bone nut and saddle i've lowered down the the nut as well as the saddle uh and balance up the uh the enough that they're talking let's get started. strike it a little bit hard so I mean this is uh, how it feels you know you know when you're in the zone with a guitar you tend to you get to you tend to play a little bit more uh, but you tend to be a little bit more creative but also you tend to be more expressive in, in a way I think that's the beauty about the connection between you and the guitar okay so if you see you can see my body action then means I love, generally love this guitar. So I'm gonna just pull the mic slightly a bit.
I'm really enjoying this guitar. I'm gonna be a bit slower, clearer, nearer to me. I don't have much time on my battery. Obviously, uh, it has a moonnut saddle. If you want slightly uh, more overtones, Jen, I am very, 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 very confident if you fit a new FMI saddle, it will be way, way sweeter. And this will be a powerhouse. Maybe I'll try to see whether I can, but I don't have time to fit a new saddle in. Okay, song for Paris, the most, the most, the most uh, requested song, and the guitar spar in the planet South Clarus
to see how. All right, there you go. The FS5 red label, FS5 red label. In fact, I don't have the one with the pickup. This is pure acoustic. You got almost like a OM size, just slightly below 15 inches, slightly below about 15 inches. Uh, OM size, you have the x ray that's about one inch. The Seiko top that is ARE treated, check ARE from Yamaha treated. Ebony bridge, ebony fretboard. Uh, you got the bleach bone nut saddle that is done nicely and the Japanese ones are slightly thicker than the in the, the um, Chinese made ones which are plastic saddles uh, the five series are all made in Japan Mahogany back and sides are semi gloss. Okay, semi gloss you can see it's not satin finish but semi gloss well made uh, 44 43 mm which one one eleven sixteen not with beautiful you got ebony bridge uh and ebony uh pins that are on this guitar short scale 25 inches so the short scale will allow you to have a little bit more of that uh vintage uh old um i could dirty sound i call it that but this has, is not really dirty it's very hard for me to explain uh the the short scale if you notice, it's used on the Hummingbird, the J45, even the Eric Clapton Triple uh, 28 EC, and, and the 25 inch or 24.9 inches gives you that warmness, but a little bit of slack so that you can do.
Okay, this is basically a still brand new guitar. It wants it opens up a little bit more. Uh, it would sound a little bit um, wider. And okay, it starts like this in terms of tone the new guitar, and then it widens a little bit more. So these are all available right now in the Music Plaza. Um, um, all the Yamaha shops in Singapore, generally the the main Yamaha store, they have twenty four pieces. These two are I'm 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 told taken. It comes with a very nice uh, hard case. Uh, that is, if you can buy the Japanese made 5 series, we got the FS series, FS5 and FG5 uh, that I have right now here with me, the, both of them here with me. Um, do I like it? Yes, I do. I I did um, just text the, the, uh, the guy that sent these two guitars in for me to review, set up and review, and um, I told him this are uh, really well made. Japanese red label F series guitar made in Japan, uh, inspired by the 50 year, 50 years anniversary 1966s, all made since 1966. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't really um, re haven't really subscribed to this channel, it's time to just press the button, and I'll be reviewing more good guitars coming up as and when as I can because I do travel a fair bit. So to my next review, I can live with passion, play your guitar, allow love, joy, peace, and health and wealth be multiplied in your life. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.